I'm willing to bet that when you have maybe been asked about your church or your faith, people have asked you, or when you've asked other people about their church or their faith or their tradition, you've probably asked this question, what do you believe, right? What do you believe? Now, don't misunderstand me today. I'm not suggesting that theology is unimportant. If you've been here for more than two minutes, you know that's not the case. It's very important. But here's what I am saying, is that for too long, we've put our hope and trust in a system of beliefs when it was never meant to be put in a system of beliefs. It was meant to be put in a person, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is a distinction there. A better question is, who do you believe? Or maybe even better yet, who are you following? I think this is crucial because more often than not, when people deconstruct their faith, maybe that's a phrase you've heard, maybe that's something you've been going through yourselves, they do not dis- deconstruct their faith over Jesus. They deconstruct their faith because of the experience they've had with a pastor, a church, or a system of beliefs. Their system of beliefs fail them in their crucible. Their hope that uh, uh, this pastor or this person or this group of people would be a certain thing fails them in their trial, in their disorientation, in their freshman year of college or whatever it is. Most often, people do not deconstruct over uh, the reality of who Jesus is or who Jesus claimed to be, but it's over the system of beliefs. Jesus is inviting you and me not to put our faith in a system of beliefs, but in him, a person.